Hey, Internet family. Uh, I'm back with uh, my visitations uh, to hell by way of vision, dreams, um, and just actually just being there, you know, knowing that I went there. Um, this is part three. Uh, the next one I'm going to talk about is um, where I had a uh, visitation to hell where I saw it was by way of a dream but I knew I was there for those who have had visitations and dreams you know what I'm talking about it's kind of hard to explain because it's almost as if like I'm sitting here in reality I was actually there uh, God uh, allowed me to see this third part is God allowed me to see where there was this soul that was standing before Satan. I couldn't tell whether if it was a woman or a man, but I knew it was a soul. And what happened was, those that are in hell, you don't have no natural body. You have this supernatural body that God gives to you. You're going to have this supernatural body for all eternity. And if you're in hell, you're going to suffer hell with that supernatural body for eternity. And Satan has the ability, why I don't know, but for those who go to hell, uh, demons and Satan, they have the ability to destroy your supernatural body, your eternal uh, body. They can rip it to shreds, they can tear it up, and your body parts can grow back for whatever reason, and then they strip you all over again, then they cut you. Or uh, 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 just torture you, and I know it don't sound good. Uh, some people may say, "Why would God send people to hell? Why would people be tortured like that?" I have no idea. But what I do know is that hell was not made for man; it was made for Satan. But when Adam did what he did, it threw us into rebellion, and so because of that, those who rebel like Satan did, that's the place for. Uh, it's basically a prison for lost souls, for rebel souls. But anyway, in this particular, on this particular visitation where I went, this soul was standing uh, before Satan. And Satan was so cruel to this soul, so cruel. This person was standing before him. All of a sudden, I don't know if you've seen that movie Silent Hill. They have two parts. But what Satan did in this, in, in this visitation... He literally stripped the flesh off of this person's body. The only thing left standing was the person, you knew it was a spirit. It had flesh on it, but Satan ripped the spirit off of the person. No, ripped the flesh off of the person. The only thing left was just the entrails of the person. And when I say entrails, meaning the, the guts, uh, 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 but, but they were in spirit form. You could see their spirit form. But Satan stripped the flesh off their spirit form. Only thing was left, the person screamed with such horror. You can't, it's like earthly scream. You know like on scary movies, people scream. This earthly scream could not be compared to it, people. I'm just going to tell you it could not be compared. But this scream was so horrifying that if, if you would have thought it would have made Satan just stop himself but he didn't and this person seemed like it seemed like they were in a place where it was almost like a um uh, uh you ever seen like the movies where the lions and where they throw people in in the middle of of uh, uh, uh like during caesar time where they had these uh rings where they throw people in and lions come out and they throw the people to the lions. It was like in a like in an arena or something like that. And it's like they come to you could tell this was a place where Satan bring people and humiliate them. You know, uh, uh this was a place of humiliation and it was just a place of torture where this particular person their flesh was just ripped to shreds. Uh it was just more than what I I, I, I could just stand and just look at. Then in another dream slash visitation, 
I saw this man and woman. I'm not going to tell what color they was, though I knew. I could tell what color they was. But both of them had, they were in a dark place. It was almost like they were in a, uh, like a prison cell. But both of them hands were up on the wall like, like they had uh, a chains around both of them hands. Both, they were naked. It was like a, a man and a woman. And in the dream, it was so horrifying to me to where I was like, why am I here and why am I having a dream? They couldn't see me, but I could see them. But in this room, you could tell it was a torture chamber. I saw all types of uh, um, um, tools. Uh, you could tell that these people were getting ready to be tortured beyond uh, human capacity could take if they were in an earthly body. But I knew...